need the space every day. There's days where we're below our bed count of 38, but that does not last long. Uh, generally, by the end of the day or midnight, we're back up over the 38 bed count. So we, we are in desperate need of space. The reason we're looking for a new facility is, is number one, we uh, out, have outgrown this facility. Uh, this current facility in Burley County is a 138 bed facility. Um, feasibly, we can be full at about 118, depending on what kind of people we have in the place. Um, and then the remainder of them, we have to start housing outside in other facilities across the state of North Dakota. The difficulty in finding rooms is the big part of it right now because pretty much every jail in western North Dakota from about Jamestown west actually is, is pretty full right now. Every once in a while you'll find a bed here or find a bed there. Um, we're looking at going to uh, Fargo and Wahpeton and Grand Forks more so in the future. We've spent $1.7 million in the last five years between Bismarck, Burley County and Morton County in housing inmates outside of our facilities where we haven't had, had room. Traveling all across the state, it's officer safety issue, it's a, a community issue, community safety issue, because you're putting uh, potentially an inmate uh, that has a risk of escaping or a chance of escaping when he's outside the uh, jail walls and behind locked doors. Sheriff Shipman and I have done some uh, preliminary uh, forecasting uh, for the future and, and we're looking at um, using last year's numbers if we continue the growth we did last year. Uh, two years ago was the biggest growth we had so we used last year's numbers which was comparable to three years ago. And if we continue at any kind of rate like that we're going to be in the area of 300 to 310 inmates per day on average uh, in January of 2017. So, so realistically moving into a 476 bed facility with about 300 to 310 inmates and we're looking at about 75% occupancy on day one. If this gets approved, the plan is, is we would build a 476 bed facility on the southeast side of Bismarck, um, out on Apple Creek Road, off of Yegan Road. The only thing separating Bismarck and Mandan and Burley Morton counties is the Missouri River. We are one huge community. The only thing that uh, we may have um, incidents and, and cases on a smaller scale, but yet we're just one large community. So let's streamline services, streamline expenses if we can, and uh, let's build it jointly with Burley County. Right now, one of our biggest issues that we're having is the booking of inmates. And, and we have in Burley County, we have actually two booking stations. In Morton County, they have one. Um, currently, this year, so far, in Burley County, just Burley County, we're averaging 20 inmates a day being booked into the facility. And it takes about an hour to hour and 15 minutes to book each individual in. And a lot of the times we have to keep the officers here because we have multiple people within the facility trying to get booked in at the same time. So ultimately we're taking those officers off the streets. Uh, the new facility, the design out there is a, is a much bigger booking facility. Um, we have cell blocks designed right in that area to, to short term hold people. So we can do what we call a quick book and get them covered and put them into a small cell block area to hold for a short period of time. So the, what the whole intent there is to get the officers who are bringing inmates into the facility back on the streets in 10 to 12 minutes and not keeping them tied up for that hour, hour and a half. And at 20 bookings a day, if we can do that, we're actually putting two officers back on the streets each day. Um, if it doesn't pass in either county, um, it goes back to the commission tables. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that we're probably would be two years out before we could bring it back to the public for another vote. Um, there is no alternative funding sources at this time other than property tax and both commissioners, both commissions have, have agreed that they do not want to look at property tax to fund the jail. Just encourage people to go out and vote on June 10th and, and, uh, and rest assured that it is written in the law that if this passes, the sales tax will sunset when these bonds are paid off. Based on figures that we uh, recently obtained from the uh, state of North Dakota, we estimate it's going to take less than eight years to pay for this facility. The safety of our community is imperative to us uh, serving in leadership roles in law enforcement, both in Burley and Morton County. Um, the jail is what I call a necessary evil uh, to keep our community safe. Um, some people have to be put in jail. I think this is probably one of the biggest elections. It, it's by far the largest dollar amount that anybody has ever come to our two communities and asked for. Um, it's a huge undertaking. Um, but I wouldn't be doing this 
And I wouldn't be out here campaigning for this if I didn't think it was the thing that we needed to do for our community.